it's that time of year again where many foragers go out and they seek the honey. Honey mushrooms this year in southern Ontario are definitely, well, for lack of a better phrase, mushrooming in population. There is virtually nowhere to go in many forests and you cannot not see these guys. Now, to a trained eye, you can tell the difference between a honey mushroom and other mushrooms that might be toxic lookalikes. However, if you're relatively new at foraging, of course the number one rule is never pick anything unless you know for certainty you know what you're picking is safe. And you definitely know what it is. That is really important. However, having said that, to an untrained eye in a forest, let's say you're not aware 100% of what a honey looks like. And you come and see these guys and you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I found myself some honeys. It has those markings on the cap. And then you have to say, whoa, <laughs> you need to stop right there. What I have here, now I have set this up. They're not growing like this. This is a mushroom that will put you in the bathroom for several hours. And depending on your constitution, you may end up in a merge. So, Foliata squarosa. This is a mushroom you do not want to eat. Whereas the honeys definitely are edible. The difference between the two is when you feel the cap of the Foliata squarosa, it's dry and it's scaly. Whereas the mushrooms, although some of the mushrooms, the honeys can be somewhat dry, they definitely have a distinct different appearance about them, except for when they're younger, because when they're younger, they can be mistaken for these. So let's flip these upside down. The foliatas I picked off of a birch. You can tell that there is some form of a veil, but not like the veil that occurs on the honey mushrooms. The stems definitely have a different appearance. So this is something that I thought was definitely well worth making a video because many people do go out there, they make a mistake, and they may pay for it by spending many hours in their bathrooms. I'm not making a joke out of that, because there are people out there that go out, mushroom hunt, they make a mistake, and they pay with their life. This is definitely not what mushroom foraging should be about. Always be sure. And if you're not sure, just don't take it. Your life is by far more important than any mushroom that is out there. Thank you for watching.